I've spent a lifetime watching children play like this and it never ceases to fascinate me. In this programme, we're going to be looking at role play and its effectiveness in children's learning. natural for children to tell stories through role play. It doesn't matter whether the role plays a vet, a shop or whatever it is. Children love to play and tell their stories. Really effective role play must have a purpose. It incorporates all areas of the curriculum and children can feel really safe and push the boundaries of their play. But where do you begin? In this programme, we'll show how practitioners can set up and plan role play areas. It can all start in the most unlikely of places. Didn't know I've got so much stuff in the garden shed. Yeah, but there's some good stuff in here, especially if you're thinking about. This is mine, I need these, not you. <laughs> My fellow Early Years advisor, Sue Durant, and I love turning trash into role play treasure. I was in um, a setting and they had the most fabulous role play. I walked in and it was really lo looked super yeah. in the corner. Yes. And the children, I think it was it was like a hairdresser, so they had all the stuff there. And yes. It was really lovely. And the TA had spent ages putting it all out the night before. Yeah, the children right. walked in, they really loved it, it was great. But unfortunately it lasted half an hour. Because they hadn't been involved in it. Because they hadn't set it they up. They didn't even know it was going to be a hairdresser's. Yeah. Yeah. And it's so mind. important that we have real things. It is. And this, um, the, the real ropes. Yes. You know, children love ropes. Absolutely. And, and wheels. So it's so good to have gone to the garage and to have got that, real things. Exactly. Because otherwise um, it just doesn't work for the children. No. And it's that smell as well. Rubber oily. smells. One of the oily oily oh, oh, I love the smell of petrol. <laughs> Give it to me every time. <laughs> It's not petrol, but the heady aroma of anchovies that accompanies playtime at Stanley Road School in Worcester, which is right opposite the city's famous sauce factory. And the children here will soon be adding extra spice to their play by creating their very own garage, because the Foundation Stage unit is working on the topic of travel and journeys. So how did that come about? Often they would get some chairs and start playing cars and things like that. So, so we decided to develop something for them. Also, we just had a lovely new awning built outside. And we wanted to connect role play outside with inside. Lucy always starts from the children's ideas. A series of mind map sessions help uncover what they already know. Fantastic. It was a week ago that we made... This first mind map about what we knew about garages. And straight away, we said that a garage is somewhere you keep your freezer. And then we really, really thought again, didn't we? We thought about other types of garages. When a car's broken, it's taken to the garage. Lucy and her colleague Anna James will be sharing the progress of this role play theme with early years advisors. That's Sue and myself. Yes. And sometimes in, in a session they'll just change it themselves anyway. You'll just go in and they'll be doing something completely unexpected, but then we take it from there. And the adults, therefore, are guided by the children. Yeah, yes, much. very much. Which is so. such a good yeah. idea. When the adults start getting all enthusiastic, isn't it? Because, <laughs> because then you can really see the way forward. And yes. I think that, yeah. that's yeah. what makes it really good. Mm -hmm. So where are you going to take all these ideas that you've got? Well, I think the first thing to do is to get a first-hand experience. It's oh, really definitely. important for the children. So we've got a nice uh, petrol garage up the road. So I'll give them a ring and make sure they'll be receiving the <laughs> visitors. During the next week, practitioners set up opportunities to broaden the children's knowledge by watching a DVD inside the classroom and by taking them all in small groups to visit the local garage. Can we look under the car? Thank you. I've never done this before. This is the first experience. Look, 
Do you see that exhaust pipe, Harriet? Which yeah. bits do you think is the exhaust pipe? Every day goes all along there. That's fantastic. Yes, Harriet. Um, I think under the car there's petrol to let it go. Of course, it was a bit of a nightmare thinking about we're in a busy place with cars, but the children knew how to behave, the risk assessment was in place, and we found the visits very successful. What can you see in there? Oh, Some bolts. Do you see if that one will fit on there? Oh, Oh, the boy, the end. There's no substitute for giving the children the real experience, the sight, the sounds and the smell of oil all the way around. And seeing the men with their hands dirty so that the children can get their hands dirty. Hold it on the end now. Get your chin outside. Yeah, Back at school, the children shared their thoughts with the rest of the class. We saw that Honda. And what did they do to the Honda so we could see underneath it? They lift it up. They lifted it up so we could look underneath it. Harriet, tell us what it looked like underneath. Um, it was very black and it was all murky. It was all murky in there. What was it covered in? Oil. Viewing a film about the workings of a garage and petrol forecourt gave the children more food for thought. There's one of the machines we saw too. The machine we saw had red and amber lights on, didn't it? This is just what we saw. It was um, did the back wheels. You know the engine's going because you can see all the fumes coming out of it. What do you think the children learnt out of this? What have they got from it? Um, well, a lot of language for a start. I mean, it was amazing when a child in my class, we didn't realise how good his English was. Mm. And it was because it had really got him and he was excited. He wanted to talk about his daddy's car. And the language he got just from the walk up and back mm. again was amazing. And came back and was full of enthusiasm telling the other children. Visiting the garage and watching the DVD allowed the children to find out more about how a garage works. This extended their mind map ideas. What do you remember about the garage? Lift cars. We can lift cars. Why do we lift cars up, Kobe? To mend it. To mend. What special bit do you need to see? You lift the car up. What can you see that you can't normally see of a car? Tank. Tank. The tank, you can see the tank. What else could we see underneath the car? Um, there's a. Uh, I met before the tank, there's a, six holes what the petrol goes in. Is it like the petrol cap are you talking about when yeah. she unscrewed it? Yeah. Fantastic. Mm. Is there anything else we need, to, we could put on our mind map? All we all turned around. Did Don't the car go anywhere? <laughs> did it drive um, along? Or yeah. did it stay in one place and the wheel? Stay in one place. OK. We that's... think that's called the rolling road, but I have to ask. Rolling road. And what were they it's testing, the Thomas, on the rolling road? Brakes. Fantastic. They test the brakes. <coughs> you open the petrol cap. Let's all do that. No. Petrol cap. Get the petrol pump. OK. Get it. The nozzle in the tank. Okay, press the button, squeeze. Lucy starting from where the children are. She's starting from what the children know. And all the time she's doing role play. The children intersperse what they're saying with bits of role play. And therefore Lucy's finding out what the children know. This is fantastic mind mapping. So where's this role play going to take the children's learning? Well, obviously, because we, we, we've we seen what really fires them up, we're going yes. to sort of develop that, that and we want to get um, get some tools and get some, some equipment. We, we've luckily been able to borrow some, so we're going to be able to use that, that stuff and get them hands-on and, 
you know, make a realistic garage. We don't want to make a sort of plasticky one that doesn't Absolutely feel very not. real. We want to recreate what they've experienced as much as we can. Yes, one that's got a real feel and a real smell and yeah. a, a real oiliness about exactly. it. Exactly, and quite quickly as well, because if we leave it, then it's the, the, the momentum's gone. Lucy takes all of the children's ideas and puts them together to stage their own version of Scrap Heap Challenge as the garage role play is developed. We're trying to ask parents if they've got any bits and bobs, and our caretaker's fantastic. Um, hope to bring in an exhaust pipe and some carburetors, some lamps and things. Tyres, I think, will be really good. And to develop fine motor skills, um, little screws and bolts, and yes. we'll probably have hammers and nails and things like that so they can have a good old bang. And um, also an office, so they're beginning to write. Uh, lots of That's signs for reading. An office so they can do their jobs and... and Sort of, um, I think we'll have a car wash and we'll have car wash tickets and things like that. So. Hammer and nail sounds wonderful, but what about the safety, Lucy? Well, we'll always have an adult out there, and I think they need to learn. We should, we'll show them how to be very careful with the nails, and we'll have to set some certain rules about not taking the tools out of the role play area. So that's just talking to them and reminding them yes. all the time. And children ought to be able to cope with risk. I they? think they can. If they know the risk yes. and, and they've been clearly told about it, they will respond well. It's, um, it's two... Um, three, four, five. Yeah, three, four, five. So what are you hoping the children are going to get out of this learning in the garage? I think mainly we like to develop language here. Yeah, we, obviously this is a great opportunity for the children to practice the language. We want them to be um, confident and in their space that they've created. And I love That's them brilliant. taking on new roles, so hopefully we'll have some mechanics, we'll have some office managers and things like that, yes. and a child working in a role is developing language in a different way. Today, please. Yes. Can I have the inside of my car done as well as the outside? Yes, yeah. the outside. How much is it? Five pounds. Five pounds. The big thing is the practitioners always feel that if they are with a group of children teaching, the children are learning, whereas we actually know that when children are engaged with their own activity, their self-chosen activity, that's when the learning is really taking place. Yes. Yes. And that's yes. why role play is such a good thing. This role play provides learning opportunities across all six areas of the curriculum as the children create their own garage scenarios and characters. Stanley Road Garage and Shop is in full swing. And all of this started from the children's own interest, their own knowledge. They've been able to bring it to the situation. We have to be really flexible in role play and make sure that the children have the opportunities to put in their parts to make it different from what we imagined it was going to be. And in role play, they can be safe, they can stretch those boundaries, they can take the occasional risk. Bye-bye for now.